Today, we are having a 1v1v1 Walmart budget fishing challenge, which includes a rod, reel, and bait. One person is gonna get $25, another person is gonna get $100, and the last person is going to get $250. Whoever catches the biggest fish wins. Now, let's go into Walmart to pick out the gear and then head to the pond and catch some fish. $25 goes to, drum roll please. Fletcher the fish. Oh, God, oh, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> we just filled a challenge with him and I had to do the $25. So this works perfect. All right. This works. There we go. The $100 goes to, drum roll please. Going Connor. All right, Connor, we'll take no, it. We'll take yeah. it. We'll take it. We'll of course, it. no, it gets. 250, baby. <laughs> yeah. What you think? Huh? What you think? You got the $25. You're balling on a budget today. <laughs> Not knowing no more. All right, guys, oh, we're gonna get into the store. I got $250 to spend. We might just buy the whole shop, man. Fletcher gets $25, which is gonna be interesting. I'm curious to see if you can actually get a rod and baits with $25. I think we can do it at Walmart for sure. And then we're not gonna get the greatest tackle in the world, but you I'm, probably, I'm gonna have you something. Probably do it. Let's just pray that they have a good section because some Walmarts, the fishing section just sucks. Or just clear it out. Yeah, or just clear two. it out. So we're gonna figure it out. And then Connor, you got the 100 bucks. Yep. The challenge today, which we'll talk about it here later on in the video but the challenge today when we get on the water is the biggest fish so whoever catches the biggest fish today wins the challenge so with the whole 250 dollars thing like we can't go through like whoever catches a fish on every bait because obviously comparing 250 to 25 you would probably win yeah. you have two baits versus like 20. so yeah let's go ahead and get inside see what they have stack up on the cash baby oh what, what you got there? It's my wheelchair, dude. You're gonna have to push me around all day in this if I am if I only get $25. My man's really on a budget. <laughs> all right, just made it into the Walmart. We haven't been in this Walmart, I'd say in probably what, like a year? So we just gotta figure out if they're gonna have the tackle that we need. If I know anything about the Walmarts the last couple years, the section has been horrible. But I guess we're gonna see. And if I have to spend $250 on this puppy, then maybe I just will. All right. Oh man. What do we have for options here? There's a decent amount. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And there's a ton of poles if you pan over there, Connor. Look. I mean, there's a good bit of stuff. There's a good bit of options. So this is what I think we're gonna do, Fletcher. Since you're at $25, we're gonna let you go first, and then we're gonna go to Connor, you're at 100 bucks, and then I'm gonna go 250. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Okay. All so right. Whatever you wanna pick, this is all you, $25 budget. Whatever you want, okay. anything. Okay, we got some options. I, you can definitely go with a rod though. Yeah. Which is cool. Rod and reel combo. Spinning blue, rod. blue. This is ten dollars. Ooh. Oh, that's so tempting, dude. Ten bucks for <laughs> ten that. Ten bucks. I don't know. Noodle, it's bro. kind of a noodle, man. I don't know. I, I think I might need something with a little bit more backbone than that. I was, I was looking to push buttons, <laughs> and you know, you can't go wrong with a classic Zepco. This rod actually looks like. It has some backbone to it, which is nice. And it comes with some tackle as well. So we got some bobbers, we got some grubs and things like that. So I actually have a little bit of tackle to work with. Yeah, this you're is gonna do the push button. I'm going for the push button, okay. dude. I'm going for the push button. I'll take it. So what else are you gonna get? So that leaves you at, you're at what, $19? 19 bucks. Okay. So now I got like $6 to spend. And you don't have to count a hook, so you can get a pack of baits. That, pack so of I baits. guess you get that combo in a pack of baits, right? Yeah. Let's see, let's see. The weather's like kind of iffy right now. I feel like the bites could be a little bit slow, so I'm thinking I'm gonna need to like crawl something on the bottom. Like, everything's like three, like 50 to like four bucks. If I got two, I technically would be like 50 cents over. Are you, are you giving me a 50 I'll cents grace? I'll give you a 50 cent break. I'll give you the break. Well, I'll give <laughs> you the 50 cent break. Not a dollar break, but I'll give you a 50 cent break. 50 cent break, okay. I think I can work with that. We're gonna go with this crawl, this little small crawl, and we're gonna go with the lizard. So this is what I got, guys. We got the Zebco combo, and we got the little crawl and the lizard. I like it, dude. I crawl. think it's gonna put up for a challenge. All right, Connor. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Whatever you want. Let's see what we can Daddy do. Daddy knows gonna pay for it. <laughs> Whatever you want. Hundred bucks. <laughs> we be spending some money at Walmart today. Five hundred dollars. So we could do like a rod and a real shepherd. But it could be an option. Reels? Let's see if they have reels. Yeah. Hmm. All right. There you go. Okay. I'm doing one of these. I'm doing that one or that one. We got to okay. see the rods. But if I can find like a 25 to $40 rod, we might go with this one. If the rods are a little more expensive, we're going to go with that one. Let's see. 
Ooh, I could work with that. This one had a $30 sticker on it, so that's good. 30 got room bucks. to work with. 30 bucks? That's not bad. Feel, that's the, feel the tip on that one. That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, that's kind of slick for 30 bucks. That's not that, bad. That's dude. a good All option. So you, so we're doing you really rod. could go with the $50 reel now. We'll go, we'll go with the $50 reel. We'll give it a shot. So we have to have somebody open this, but we're going to go with that Shimano reel. And we got to get some baits now. We're gonna do one of these, that's three. What do you think about these guys here? We're gonna do both of these, so that's six. You didn't do any other baits, did you? Just soft plastics? Yeah, I just got soft plastics. Okay. So the thing today is we're going We're going big, big as fish. fish. Yeah, so chatter so dog, bro. Might be that, that would be my option. We're gonna do this color, and we're gonna rock some of these trailers. Dude, that honestly looks money. That looks really good. Look at that color. That is the money. We're getting a big one on those today. All right, so. I'm getting this rod. The reel's still in the case. We gotta get that out. I did these two colors, which I think will be the money. We might throw those wacky rig. And then we got the chatter donk here. Going for the big guy. We'll see what we can do. Now what you all have been waiting for, $250. Gonna start now. Do you think I can spend that much? I think I can. Bro. I think you can. It's gonna be a challenge, honestly. Okay, let's go. I, I know if I had $250, I'd make sure I spent every last dime of it. If it's your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, dude. I, I mean, I can get like the top of the line. These are 50. So this is a Luz Xfinity XJ. I could literally come out with a whole five set of rods right now. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's ready to line the deck of his boat. <laughs> I literally buy no base today. It's just all rods. Okay. This puppy, how much did you say? This is 30 bucks. So that's just steel. So we're going to go with this. Oh, <laughs> what about the ping pong yeah. table for eighty dollars? Yeah, I think I think that's essential to to the win today. Let's get serious here. So, what are my bait caster options? Okay, we have a Shakespeare up here, forty three dollars. Do you see that? That's Ooh. not even putting a damper in my money. That's seventy dollars. How many combos am I gonna buy today, bro? I mean, I think at least two. I might buy a dang boat. So I think we're gonna do Shakespeare. So that's $43 plus 30. That's only 75, yep. 75 bucks. We're gonna keep the rod right here at the moment. Do you think I should get more than one combo? I feel like you have I to. Go for it. I mean, 250 yeah, bucks. I mean, so. might as well take advantage of your your budget. That's what I'm saying. So since we got a bait caster, let's try to get a spinning combo. What about this one, dude? <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. I think that's the thickest rod I've ever seen. <laughs> Guys. So last year we did some surf fishing. If you want to see the same challenge, but with surf fishing, dude, that would be a banger. Let that would, us know that'd down be below. great. Hit the like button, load this thing up to 10K likes, we'll do it for you. I'm definitely not using this. Why am I even yeah. talking about it? No. We got a couple more options over here. Dude, oh, this is what I was looking for. This is an Xfinity Inshore. Very high quality reel for the price. This is a fire combo, especially for 70 bucks. It's like a hundred dollars to spare in baits. Yep. Holy cow, we got a shopping spree, right. boys. We got a spinning rod and a bait caster. This one's slick. I've used it before, so I know it's good. We're just gonna set that right there until we gotta get the reels out. I'm just gonna go crazy. Can I do that? Yeah, just I, I go absolutely insane. Listen, so flukes, killer bait, any time of the year. So we're gonna go with some flukes. I know Connor already did it, but I'm gonna do it too. Striking Sankos. Pretty, pretty clean and basic. You gotta go with them. You guys can pick whatever you want to. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. No one shouldn't be allowed to get the uh, the chatter donk today. Dude, oh no, no, Then he's gonna be no. catching the big one. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that I one's gotta, off limits. I gotta get the chatter donk. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. Give me all of them. We're gonna get a white chartreuse with a gold blade. We're gonna get a white. We're gonna get a black and blue. And we're actually gonna go, we're gonna go with another white. I'm just balling over here, bro. I'm balling, straight balling. Think about those, bro. Some like seven and a half inch, like curly tail worms. Those look are pretty June good, bug. looking pretty like you can't, you can't go wrong with June bug. Another bait I really want is a lipless crankbait. Do they have a red eye shad? That would be money. I feel like they gotta have a red eye shad. That doesn't look bad. You think about the conditions, man. We got a cold front. But you don't help them out. Yes. Bro, oh, how did I not no. see him, bro? Oh, no, dude, I oh. How did I not see him, bro? <laughs> Which color do you guys think? I don't know what place we're fishing yet. We haven't really discussed that. But to be fair, I think I'm gonna go with the with the natural. The natural? Yeah, that yeah. beautiful natty. Na natty color. Bro, they Do they have two taps? Yeah, look, look, look. You want a little shimmer? You want a little- I want a little shimmy shimmy. We're gonna get one of them too. Okay, we probably should've got a cart for this. I think I do want some hooks. Y'all can have some of mine, you know. All right. I understand you guys- <laughs> Share the love a little bit. Are on a budget, but your boy, you know, he's got, he's got the dough right now. Four uh, extra wide gap hooks. This thing's broke because you know I'd be packing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Connor, look at this, dude. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Got it in my holster, dude. This is what we're going with for the baits. I really don't think there's anything else I can I can. Yeah, I think you're uh... One thing I could buy, but it, it just doesn't make sense right now is top water. But I mean, it's cold as heck outside. Actually, no, go, go, go get some top water lures, man. I think you should start top water yeah, all day. Water. I cannot find these popping pickles anywhere and they have them here. Dude, this is a great weather for popping pickles. Actually, my personal preference, the best time to throw a frog is like actually when the lake's ice over. I don't know if you've tried <laughs> yeah. it, but it just glides perfectly. Well, dude, the, the bass love done. to crash through the ice, man. Dude, they love it, man. <laughs> Our last step, we got to pick up my reel and your reel. We got in the counter, so we got the Shakespeare, Connor got, I got a Shimano spinning rod, and then I got all the rods. Fletcher's got, show him what you got. We got the Zepco, baby. That's like all you it. need. I like it, honestly. It's That's all you need, classic. Then we got all the baits that we could pick. So let's go ahead and check out, hopefully not hurt, hurt the wallet too much, and then uh, go catch some fish. Here we go. Correct. Fastest bagger in the east. <laughs> okay, we were good. Yeah, as you guys can tell right there, $358. Not too shabby. All right. All right, let's go load her up. All right, boys. We're going to catch y'all at Fletcher's place. And we're going to be catching these big bass today. Let's get it. All right, guys. Next day, 35 degrees. Heavy winds. We're about to go catch some fish now. Yesterday, we went to Walmart, picked up all the tackle. And we decided to come out today. We did not realize how cold it is. <laughs> it's be. freezing. It is so cold today, guys. So we're gonna try our best to catch some fish. The place <laughs> we picked out to come fish is kind of hidden, so the wind's not as bad <laughs> over where we're at. But yeah, we're gonna hop in the water and see what we can do. Fletcher's got his old uh, combo right there. He's we gonna give the, you all. We got the Zepco and we got our our two bags of soft plastics in the boat. You know, basically all I can really focus on now, right now, are my uh, my diamond hard nipples because it's so cold. But we're about to we're about to hop in the boat and get started with this. So let's go ahead and move on down here. Good luck, Fletch. Peace out. He's not gonna be on that boat by himself. Me and Connor are gonna be on this boat. So we're about to back this puppy in, get on the water, see if we can catch some. Y'all boys ready? Y'all ready? Let's I'm ready, boy. All right, guys, we got the boats in. We are ready. Let's get it. Dude, this water is crazy clear. Yeah, it is freaking insanely clear. Look at that, guys. You can literally see everything on the bottom. Well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. It is chilly. This big cold front blew in yesterday. We couldn't even have time to film mine. You know, it was just so nasty and tough. So, I don't know. I have high hopes for today, though. I think we're gonna catch them pretty good, and hopefully we'll get some big ones and see who's crowned the champion of the ultimate uh, budget Walmart challenge. I got my two rods right here pretty slick man i'm excited to use them today so we got the lose xfinity inshore and then we have a laser hs speed stick this is actually by lose as well and then we have the shakespeare reel that we got so uh yeah this is the combos that i'm going to be working with we're going to go ahead and rig up some baits on here i think i'm going to start off with the bait caster i'm actually not going to rig them up both at the same time because i really don't know what the fish are going to be biting guys i think we're going to go out with this red eye shad this is a nice little natural color it's honestly going to be money for this clear water and uh i'll tell you this time of year when it gets cold here in the winter time these fish tend to position out deeper and they kind of stack up so i think this might be a good bait to fish throughout the ditches and uh we might be able to get some fired up i don't know i could be wrong i, I could be just speaking nonsense right now but I, I think we might be able to find some fish stacked up in the middle so we can try this all right guys here's the setup you get to lose speed stick with this reel on there we're gonna go ahead and try a wacky rig see what we can do with it it's time to dive into this guys i'm gonna crack this thing open the odds are really stacked against me here i got very limited stuff to work with here we have terrible conditions temps dropped like 30 degrees in the, the last like 48 hours so i can only expect that these fish are going to be a little finicky only time will tell well, let's put together this this little combo here and see what we're working with pop this sucker in spin this down and we should be ready to rock and roll there that is what i'm talking about guys we're gonna go over to our soft plastic section throw on a little texas rig let's pop into the super salt plus ultra vibe speed crawl green pumpkin that, that is a mouthful for a name there let's get this thing popped right on here see if these fish are all about it all right boys two hours on the clock let's get it here we go guys got a red eye shad let's give our first cast on the shakespeare combo here oh okay 
grips. <laughs> that that wasn't bad, honestly. That really wasn't bad. I like that. This bait might be a little too much for today. And this is a great color for clear water. It's just with how freaking cold it got last night. I mean, it literally dropped 30 degrees in a day and a half. Guys, we are going to cut this off. We're going to rig up a Texas rig. I think we got to slow down here. Well, here we go. We got a little Texas rig right here. We're going to start throwing this under some of these laydowns. Hopefully, we'll get on them pretty good. It's kind of hard to flip this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Striking first, boys. No! I lost him. That was a big one, that dude. That was a unit right there. How big was that? That was like a three pounder. Dude, that was a dang good one. All right, guys, we're, we're on to the right thing. We got something going for us here. We're just lacking a little backbone on our, on our $20 combo. That just means we're gonna have to set the hook harder. He was just kind of hanging out right on the edge of these bushes. Maybe that's a ticket. Just gonna kind of fish those. Oh, I think we got it. We got another one. Yes! Yeah! We got a little juicy spot right here. And we're on the board. Striking first with the $20 combo and the $25 budget. No, that $250 ain't gonna do you no good today, I can already tell you. We're gonna put this one on the scale just to get something as an official weight. 1.45, 1.45, guys. We are looking good, liking what we're seeing. I wish we could have got that first fish. That fish was definitely better, but we'll take that one. There's usually a fish back there. I get that. Dude, first cast. First cast on the worm, baby. Let's go, dude. He ain't big. I ain't even gonna weigh him, but literally first cast on the worm. If that doesn't tell us something, I don't know what it does. No way, bro. Oh, gosh. I might. Oh, he's got a good one, dude. Good. No way. It's That's a nice bad. one. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, That's you a unit. I'm playing against you, so I can't help you. <laughs> they just doubled up over there. That one looked good. Oh, Connor's got a nice one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, we got a oh, triple up. Let's go. Hey, 35 degrees, I don't care. We're smoking them. This one is tiny. So we're gonna just pop her right back in the water. But I'm glad they're biting. What'd you say? How much did yours weigh? 1.45. You might have you there. All right, I'm gonna grab the scale from you. Oh, I think we're close. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm getting freaking hammered. They're stacked up back there. Oh, they're freaking loaded, dude. Yeah, I want to lose my mind. Look at this. It keeps messing up my worm. Guys, I did not expect it for the fish. We, we haven't been out here long. We no, just switched up to a bottom bait and he starts. Connor, 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 look. Connor, look. Connor, look. Is he right there? Yeah. That was a nice one right below. Oh, dude, I got a whole school of them on me. Dude, he's right there. Dude, I got a whole school of Fletcher. Fletcher, I side fished him, dude. Throw right there, Fletcher. Throw right there. Oh, no. Hey, okay. wait, I'm helping Noah out. I'm not supposed to be helping him out. What am I doing? All right, you can throw that one back. Throw Noah's fish back in there. Fletcher, drop right there. Look at look with your eyes, bro. You see him swimming around. What else am I supposed to look with? My butt? <laughs> Let's see where we're at here. Oh, Fletcher, I got you. What you got? I'm at two pounds. Two oh, pounds. Wow, that's two pounds even. Okay. Oh. oh. Yes. Yes. Stay down and stay down. Stay down. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, boy. This one's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna put her back. We got a new leader. I think Noah's in last place, which is good. I have yet to weigh a fish. 
<laughs> oh my goodness! They are going berserk. Why are they biting so well, boys? Are you glad we came out now? I guess. Hey, yeah. this is keeping me a little warm. You know what I, I mean? Do. I ain't gonna lie, my hands are cold, but it's like my at least. My hands are freezing because they've been it, in the water the whole time. Bro, it's a lot better than not getting bites. You know what I mean? And being frustrated. Watch this flesh. I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't see him right now. But... <laughs> Bro, what is going on, dude? Why is there that many up there? Dude, it's way clearer than usual, Flusher. This is how it used to be. That's yeah. Maybe that's why they were biting so good. Maybe. Hey, you had your gut feeling to come here. It's gonna be good in this corner, Connor. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Come on, Twinkies. I gotta have a fish to weigh. Connor's over here with the two pound lonker. I'm pulling up freaking Twinkies. Oh my, why is this an occurring theme today? I swear I never dropped bass like that. Well, I have caught probably four fish guys, but I just have not had size yet. But we're weaving through them. We're gonna catch a big one, I feel it. With how cold it is, I'll be fine just catching some fish. Yeah, this cool. Uh oh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know. She's skinny. She's long as heck, but she's skinny. Dude, on the edge, she's. You might be close, actually. Dude, yeah, I don't know. I might, I might need to try that one. Oh, that's you. Right Look, there. that's a pretty good one, dude. She's probably one and a half, if that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one and a half. One point five four. One point five four. Yeah. Dang it, that puts me in the last. Fletcher's in last place. If you ain't first, you last, Ricky Bobby. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh. I just wish I had one of those. No, I don't. Surprise you. Oh. Oh yeah. That's Here we great. go. That's oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, no. That's a good one. Oh. oh. I don't know. Why'd he look so big, didn't he? <laughs> it was his mouth open. Connor, did that all look it like was a three? The sun. When the sun hit it, it looked like... Why did it look so big right there? Come on, fishy, 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 big fishy. Oh, that's a decent one. Bigger than my last. Dude, they're so hyper too, bro. Okay, I might have something going on with this worm, dude. I don't know. That was what, three cast, three fish? This might be bigger than my last, but I don't even want to weigh it because it's not two. That's about a one and a half, yeah. probably. How thick his body. Oh, we are smoking them, but... We're just having to weave through a lot of small ones. I think we're going to find some big ones here. We just got to keep weaving through those guys. How's that real though? It's nice. It's making a very interesting noise right now. Dude, I am getting, I, I just, I, I can't not throw a cast without getting a bite. <laughs> ah, man, you're balling on a budget. We're getting dialed in here, guys. I'm feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty good with this. Oh, there's one, there's one. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Almost fell out of the boat. Almost fell out of the boat. We're good, we're good. Holy sh cannoli. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yo, boy. I don't think she's two. Yeah, I don't know. She might be better than Noah, but I'm not going to wear her unless she's, you know, really feeling like a two-pounder. Thanks for the munch there, baby. So, guys, we've caught a lot of fish. That worm is working so well. I'm not going to retire it for the whole day, but I do want to put on this chatterdonk. 
It's because if we're gonna try to win this tournament or win this challenge, we have to go for bigger fish. With that being said, this has to be my big fish confidence bait. I don't know if this is a little too much for them today, but with how they were just biting that worm and how active they seemed, this could be a killer bait to catch a couple good ones. You can kind of weave through those small bass and get right to the big ones. That's what I'm thinking. So we're gonna tie this puppy on and see what we can do. And I'm actually gonna do something very interesting. And Fletcher and Connor are gonna think I'm crazy for it, but I think there's something to it. I'm actually gonna throw this chatterbait without a trailer. I'm literally just gonna throw it like that. No trailer. No trailer. Wow. And watch, I'm gonna freaking crush him. Y'all about to see. I want you one bet I cream him on this puppy. Oh no, no way. I think there's one. Yeah, he's behind it. Maybe. Oh Connor, that was a good one. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Is he behind it? No, he's going to the right. He's interested though. Oh, dude, he's a good one. He's 100% the biggest one. Oh, there's a smaller one behind me. Where'd the big one go? Oh my God, Connor, look at that one. That's like a five pounder. I just had the winning fish hit me on my first cast. So boys, you know, we ended up getting two combos. So I'm gonna use this one try it out this is the lose inshore i've actually used this one before so i know it's a really great combo this is actually what we're going to put our slow moving bait on so i'm going to actually rig up this texas rig that i had on here put our little bullet weight on and we're actually going to go with the same curly tail worm just because this worm is catching them guys that thing is killing it if you guys are wondering what knot i'm tying it's just a standard uni knot very simple strong knot Cut our tag in. We're gonna get one of these worms, and I'll show y'all how I'm breaking it up. I know most of y'all already know, but we're just going through the head of the bait here, all the way until right where it bends. Then we break it through, slide this all the way up onto the front of the hook, and then we're gonna lay this here and weedless hook it. Boom, boom. And here goes nothing, guys. This is our spinning combo. Make sure our drag's set. That's important. All right, first cast. Let's see what we got. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You got one? No, he came off. Come on. Here we go. Oh, he's not. No, dude. I'm, I'm struggling with these hook sets. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to enjoy this combo a lot. You got one? I got one too, dude. Wait, that might be better. Oh, that's a, that's that's a one good one. Oh my God, Come on. Good Ah, uh, he ain't as big as your last. Nah. He's long, dude. He's he is tight. long. All right, guys, there's one more. A little too skinny, so we're not going to be able to get that one on the board, but we'll put him back. Dude, what are these boils right here? Oh, there's a carp, dude. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, my. There's a huge carp. See that carp right there, guys? We got them swimming. So to give you all a little update. Oh, Connor's got one. Nice. I was about to say, we haven't had a bite in a minute, and we're traveling to the other side of the lake, but Connor's just got him in. <laughs> Get that hook in there. Get that hook in there. It's a small one. Dag nabbit. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Yeah, boy. You already know. Still looking for that quality. Yes. 
one. Yo! Small, small. Not what we want, man. It's probably the smallest one so far. You gotta do better than that. Oh, oh, dude, that fish was flying with it. Took me right to the right in that tree and came off. Oh, that was another good one. <laughs> dude, that one had weight onto it, dude. I might be messing up. There's a smaller one just following me in. Uh, I might be messing up. Watch, you're going to eat this, Connor. Look. Right there. Oh, that's a big one. Wait, wait, wait. What? Dude, that, that dude, that fish is huge. Oh, that's uh, the small one ate me. Dude, I, I think we're on some big ones here, Connor. Did you see the other one that pulled up? That one would have been three right there. Dude. I don't know, dude. I, I'm pretty sure I had a big one on like two times. And then I saw a big, uh, like shadow underneath my bait right there, Fletch. Here we go, boys. If I miss another one, it's definitely because of the spinning rod. I might need to move this over to the bait caster. Dude, I'm missing them every time. I gotta do it. I can't I can't afford that. We gotta put this Texas rig on the bait caster, guys, because Having that on that spinning rod, I missed like three good bites and I can't afford to miss good bites if we're gonna win this challenge today. I gotta cut this off, put it on the bait cast or my, my hookup ratio would be a lot better. With that spinning combo, I feel like it's good with finesse baits, but as far as the Texas rig, it might be better on a bait caster. You gotta give a little more oomph to a Texas rig to get that hook penetrated. Here goes nothing, I'm gonna throw back in there, see if we can get one. You hear that? <laughs> Ooh, that was him, dude. That bro. That was a that was a nuke. Dude, that, that was, was a nuke. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That dude, was it's this rod. It's, it it's is. So I'm telling you, it's the Texas dude. rig on a spinning rod. I'm telling you. I did. I literally. We just did the same thing next to each other. We missed how many fish? Like three or four on it. That, that was I mean, that has nothing to like bad talk a spinning rod. It's just when you're throwing a Texas rig, you're, you're more off throwing on a bait caster. Just how it is, man. You could do a different rig, bro. You probably hook up your your hookup ratio would be a lot better. I just gotta be able to Dude, that was slick. I don't know, dude. Oh, he's skinny, dude. That's the problem. These fish have the length. Some of these bass are just skinny. Like, he, he has the body of a two-pounder. He's just skinny. Look at this guy. He's got all these little speckles on him. We've seen something like that before. You see that? Oh, yeah. Huh. All over him. Let's see what we got here, boys. One, four. Not what we want. I feel like I need to work on my hook set here, like adapt my strategy a little bit. Like maybe like put my hand up on the rod a little bit to get a little bit more backbone behind it. Oh, oh shucks, man. You know what? I'm just gonna expose the hook. I think that's gonna be my best strat here, just to leave that hook exposed. Dude, that's him. That's him. Look at him running. Dude, yeah. Dude, that might be him. That might be him. I don't know. It's close, dude. That That's him. Uh -oh. yeah. I had him in the head. I don't know. It's close. Let's see what we got here for us, boys. We, we might have the leading fish. We might not. Let's see what we got. Oh, my gosh. No. Uh -oh. 175. Five? Yep. One and three quarters. Not quite the two pounder we need. I can root for Connor, I can get behind that. But a pretty bass. No, same. I can honestly get behind Connor too. I just don't want you to win. <laughs> because if Fletcher wins with the with the Zebco, I, I'd feel devastated. Yeah, 
I just throw that in the tree. I right, just throw that in the tree. Right here, you see him? You see him right there? Guys, we got a whole school of bass right under us. I don't know where they went. Right here, right here. Watch this. You ready? Yeah. Throw in there, throw in there. He's right there. We just saw a whole school. See if they were fatter, dude. Hey, do you have any uh, big tungsten weights? Like one ounce weights? I don't think so. Dang it. Okay. I was gonna like actually stuff them down the fish's mouth <laughs> and uh, maybe be able to pull off the wind, you know. Yeah, I actually got some inspiration. Yeah, dude, I got some inspiration online a couple weeks ago, you know. I don't know, I heard I heard some guys won a bunch of money doing that, so I, I just thought it would be a good idea. I just got hit. Here we go. Uh oh. What do you think? Yeah, that did. Oh, that's bigger than my biggest, definitely. I don't know if that's two, but. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty close. I don't think he's fat enough, but he's kind of got a. Oh. Dude, I think he might. I don't know. I might have it. I'm not going to lie. I really think this is a 1.8 or a 1.9, though. I just have a feeling. He's, I don't know. His body's so thick. Your one's literally too even. Too even. Oh, it's a 2 8, bro. Or a 1 8, 1 8. Well, like, dang. <laughs> dang it. So Dude, I'm barely hanging Dude. out of that lead. Uh, no, I know, almost a 2 pounder. Golly. Man, I thought I had it there for a second. All right, boys. I think we're going to close it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Congrats to Connor on Good winning, job, man. Bud. Good job, man. Finally did it. Challenge.